collar on this shirt's all jacked up, man. You ever just jump out the house and you're on the go and you put something on and you realize how stupid it looks when you leave, but I can't go back home. I don't got time to go change. <sighs> Anyways, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor, so don't base anything I say out these videos. I'm just doing it for pure entertainment purposes only. Uh, just wanted to jump in real quick. You know, yesterday I made a, a I put a live um, on uh, stupid seatbelt beeper. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna park soon. I'm, I'm close to my destination. Um, I made a, a live yesterday talking about that five dollars sixty six uh, uh, range where you know they, they convert um, four hundred million dollars towards debt. Um, kind of bounce around if, you, if you're interested in hearing what I had to say you can go back and check them out my last live but today just want to jump in uh, more of the same really um, I bought some shares today there is a couple of youtubers uh, talking about you know and, and I don't like to give dates they're talking about um, possibly like the 24th of this month something going on and these are the things I want to talk about um, I'm not agreeing or disagreeing with anyone and I hopefully they're right you know I would love for them to be right and I'm definitely not disagreeing with them because it's very educated uh, people that say these things but a lot of times what is supposed to happen what should happen what we expect to happen especially in AMC and GME these type of plays it doesn't happen um, and, and I just don't want anyone to get all hyped up pumped up and you know throwing everything you got you know oh my god i just got my paycheck i gotta throw the whole thing into this this uh amc stock because i only have till the 24th you know and th and the reason i say these things is because i've had to learn my my own way you know the hard way i've, I've thrown in more money sometimes than i should have in stocks when when i was afraid of missing the fomo the fear of missing out and then it didn't happen and i'm thinking man i should have paid my city bill instead you know what I, mean? I don't know uh just 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 a warning not financial advice i'm not telling you what to do with your money if you want to throw everything into a stock do it if you don't don't whatever you know make your own decisions uh but for sure there is you know there's a couple of youtubers talking about i believe that the date is the 24th um and that beeper's going off like crazy so with that being said um and trying to pull on my spot people don't know how to park everything's all crooked here um yeah with that being said um you know just like i said don't don't get too overexcited and it would be dope i mean it, like i've said with amc gme other plays anything can happen at any point in time you just never know you know what i mean uh, any, any day anything could happen um and and but i, I also you know have the the realization and, and a reality check that that it's gonna go as far as it can go you know they're gonna take it back as far as it can and and i believe on their side on the short side they're just hoping for something you know, like how we're hoping on, on the, the long side that, that something happens to make it squeeze, maybe like Black Swan or margin calls, whatever, to close and cover and, and on our side, my side, personal side, what I'm hoping happens so I can cash out and make some money. On their end, I believe, personally, and this, you know, I don't know for sure what they're thinking, but I would imagine they're thinking similar but in reverse, something that happens that knocks the company out or some sort of, you know, Black Swan, I don't know if they'd call it Black Swan on their side, but that would that would create uh, the business to, to, to fail, et cetera, et cetera. So I, the whole point of this video is, is just to make sure you you do your own research, do your own DD. If you decide, hey man, I'm gonna throw everything in today, then that's up to you. If you decide that, hey man, let me just ease into it. You know, for me, I've and, and it's easier for me to say because I've got enough shares where I feel comfortable if something were to happen, you know, I get it. Cause I remember early in the stages, like when they first went on that threshold list and you know, I think it was like June of 20, 22 or something like that and I was like oh my god they're gonna go on the threshold this we only got a couple days so I'm just gathering money and just throwing everything into that stock you know what I mean and then nothing happened so you know and then it can defeat you and make you feel down and then that's when you start getting to the point like it's never gonna happen I hate this stock I'm just gonna sell it all you know so you make your own financial decisions obviously but um I guess more of a a, a thought you know just just to consider, you know, just because something should happen or someone says it's going to happen, there's no guarantees. Nothing's guaranteed. You know, I, I may be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Shit. I would love for the 24th just to everything to pop and I'm fucking cashing out on the, you know, that evening, but I don't know. You know, you just never know. Like I said, any day, anything could happen. I'm just riding it out. I'm running out of time on my phone. Uh, I literally only got about 10 seconds. So have a good day. Be blessed. Let's get rich soon. Peace.